Red flag warning. Speaking of fires has been extended until later tonight. A drought continues in our area. October 7th. October 7th, over a month ago, was the last time we saw significant rainfall. So wildfires continue to spark across the region, including just last night in Providence and Coventry. Eric Ritchie is live in the weather yard this morning, so these flames in Providence were pretty intense. Sure were, okay, and our camera lens was able to capture some of those flames, but not quite as good as a viewer who sent us his video. Let's go ahead and show you now what it looked like on Blackstone Valley Boulevard, excuse me, Blackstone Boulevard in Providence just before 5 o'clock last night. This is near Lippet Park and Swan Point Cemetery. The Providence Fire Chief says the fire burned about two acres of brush, and it took nearly four dozen firefighters to battle this blaze, but because of all those resources, they were able to get it under control in under an hour. Over in Coventry, the same amount of real estate was torched by flames in the woods off of Lydia and Jade Roads. Now here too, firefighters worked fast and they kept the fire from spreading to a nearby neighborhood. But both residents and fire officials in both towns say they are shocked at what they're seeing. I've been here since June 15th, 1972, and there's never been anything like this in all the years I've been here. Now with this wind, this just really helps the spread of the fire and just pushes it along at, at sometimes rates that, you know, are un, you know, unbelievable at sometimes. It just moves right along. And that fire chief talking to us about how astounded he was to see how quickly those flames were spreading and how wide of a path they cut through that brush there. But he did say that neighborhood was protected, even though those flames came within a couple hundred feet of those homes. None of them were damaged and no one was hurt in that fire or the one in Providence either. So that's the good news. That's the latest reporting live in the weather yard this morning. I'm Erica Ritchie, 12 News.